Ew, Zoe, why is your shirt so stained? I don't know if it's obvious, but... We're taking a break from Minecraft because I'm in need of a hair change bad. I have not changed my hair in two months and I am going nuts. So my plan is, this plan, it might be a little bit crazy because of what my hair is at right now, but I'm thinking I'm going to go orange, but like a bronzy orange, like a dark orange. This is most likely gonna have to be like a multiple day process. Bleaching my hair is so exhausting and I honestly don't think that I could do this whole head of hair in a day. So I might have to do the bottom half today and the monstrosity at the top of my head a different day. With that, let's talk about uh, how we're gonna do this. I've never bleached my whole head before, so hopefully this doesn't go wrong. If it does, it will be in the title. A problem we might run into. My roots are grown out a lot and my hair is dyed black. So the way that I bleach it will matter a lot. I'm gonna have to do the ends before I do the roots and I'm gonna have to do the roots for like a short amount of time. Because I don't know if you can see this, but I did a strip test. I did bleach this and it's kind of reddish, which is exactly what I wanted because I kind of want reddish orange. And as you can see, this is super light because one, it's virgin hair, and two, because it's closest to my skin and my skin is hot and sexy. <laughs> what that tells me is that I'm gonna have to like bleach that much of my hair longer than I bleach this. Another reason why I'm gonna have to do this in two days is because I'm almost out of 30 volume developer. <gasps> So, okay, I split my hair to the two sections. I can bleach this. I'm not too worried about that. I'm also just scared for what the fuck. Ah. Doing your hair yourself is kind of expensive. Like, it's cheaper than getting it done by a professional, but sheesh. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear, like, cars and stuff in the background. I one, I don't have a mic, and also I probably wouldn't set it up for this video to not, this isn't very professional. And also, the fumes, I need the door open, so, sorry. I'll sacrifice my audio in order to not die of bleach fumes. Oh yeah, I could've made a TikTok. <laughs> oh well, okay. Which side should we start with, ladies? Let's do my left side, I feel like my left side will be more challenging. Oh yeah, this side I tried bleaching. I diluted my bleach with a uh, shampoo. I was testing it out because I was hoping that I could just dilute it, but I can't because I have literal jet black hair dye, so. So this is a good way to mark where I should not bleach. Burning my eyes. Nice and saturated. Ugh, that is the ugliest wrap I've ever done. This is a goddamn mess. If you see this and you're like, why the fuck is she using plastic wrap and not foil? It's because that's what my hairstylist did. And so I trust her and I'm gonna use her method. Okay, so I finished one side. That's what it looks like. Um, so I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll let both sides sit for the same amount of time and then I'll do the roots. I think that's how it's gonna go. I'm not sure. Well, I am sure that is what's gonna happen. I don't know what I'm <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I got bleach on the brain. Ooh, it's getting warm on this side. Huh, damn! Okay, I finished both sides. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to let this sit for 30 minutes. I'm gonna do my roots for the last 10 minutes and then I'll rinse it and then I'll show you guys whatever the next day I end up doing my hair. 
so here's where it's at right now it's not perfectly even as you can see it's a little bit darker down here and uh i'll show you the, i'll show you the back <laughs> you know what i don't care i just care about the top the top is where the problems will be the top is where the challenge is oh, but i'm happy with the bottom we've also come into, into another problem which is the dye so see that yeah i thought that was gonna mean that it was kind of like like i don't know i guess i this what i'm trying to say is this is really light this is also really light and but my plan was not to do like a bright orange i wanted to do more of like a reddish dark like that's gonna that's gonna be bright orange which i'm not too opposed to it's just that that's not what i had intended i'm thinking i might uh, mix in some of my brown hair dye is that a bad idea we're at the challenging part which is we gotta work on the top half I'm a little scared for how I'm gonna go about this. Also, the top half of my head is already pretty damaged. This is really, really damaged. I'm not sure if it's gonna be able to handle bleach. I think what I should do is, these were my front strips that I've been bleaching over the few months, and they're definitely, definitely, definitely not gonna do well with the bleach. They might fall off. So what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna separate this from the rest. Let's all join together in prayer or just sending me good vibes. Just whatever you want. Give me, give me, give me, give me that goodness. I need it. Bleach. Bowl. New developer. this what how do i do that like are these blonde pieces just gonna fall out or are they going to survive i don't i don't really know let's just say flip it and just yeah i used all of my developer before i could finish bleaching my hair and my roots, I already know, are going to be dark and ugly. We are going to let this sit for a couple more minutes. I'm going to rinse it, and I will get back with you once I have a plan. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, and I'm ready to fix this mess that I have going on. At first glance, you might be like, that's not too bad. Or you might be freaking out, you're like, Zoe, what's wrong with you? Wherever you're ranging on there, don't worry, this isn't the final result. Everywhere below like this is pretty much where I want it to be. I ran into an issue last night and that was that I ran out of developer and so when I put the bleach on my roots, I didn't have enough bleach to perfectly saturate everything and so we end up with these dark spots because it wasn't completely saturated. So we brought out the big guns. We bought 32 ounces. No way am I going to run out of this. And I've still got plenty of bleaching powder. So no worries, I have enough product. I was going to be mixing this orange dye with this brown dye that I had, but I did some research. By research, I mean I did a quick Google search and everyone said, no, don't mix two different brands. Also, this is permanent, which I didn't know. This is semi-permanent, this is permanent. Don't do that. So 
That's right. I did I did some thinking before I did this stuff. What we're doing is we are going to be mixing this along with this. The bottle looks purple, but I looked on YouTube on what it looked like on other people's hair and it looks sort of reddish brownish. What I'm thinking is we're gonna mix these and then since this is a little bit darker than this, this will go on my roots. That's what we're doing. This is our plan for today. But before this, we are going to be bleaching this part, make that as even as possible, get rid of this a little bit. It's gonna be difficult, but I can do it. I believe in myself, it'll be okay. Last night I was panicking because my hair started falling out. I have hiccups, so cool. I have a mirror in front of me so I can see the back of my head, but I'm just gonna get all these dark spots. Okay, I don't know how even this bitch is, but my roots are done and I'm gonna go rinse and I think some of my hair will fall out again, but whatever. I don't care, I just wanna put the stupid hair dye on and be done with this. It's not awful. Like, I feel like this is a good base for the hair that I'm trying to do. It is very crispy. I had to give myself a little bit of a haircut to cut off like the dead ends. Based on my strip test, this was just Ritual and this one's just Sunset Orange. As I suspected, Sunset Orange, bright. This, this is kind of the color that I wanted. And I am starting with the roots because these are like white and the rest, everything else is orange. So I want these to get as dark as possible. Super Bowl's going on and I can't miss commercials, so I'm gonna be leaving <laughs> and coming back. Okay, this is starting to look a little too red, just not what I wanted, so I'm gonna mix in the orange. Okay, I'm excited for what this will look like when I get when I rinse it out. I'm gonna let this sit for 45 minutes and then I will rinse it out and I'll show you the final result. I'll be back in 45 minutes. Okay, are you ready for the final reveal? Oh, this was the craziest hair changing process that I've ever done ever. I was so scared throughout the whole time. I had lost hope so many times. And then finally yesterday, I was like, fuck it. I'm not gonna settle for this crusty mess on my head. This is not the color that I had planned for. I was wanting more of a, a bronzy, coppery kind of more orange and this is more red. And up here it's kind of purpley a little bit, but I'm not mad. I think I look sick as fuck. I think I look so cool. <gasps> I feel like such a cool girl, but yeah. It's more purpley up here because that's where Ritual was. And then down here is where I started to mix in the orange. What do you guys think? A lot of you guys I bet were thinking that I wasn't gonna be able to pull it off. I bet some of you guys out there were hoping that it would fail. But nope, I'm the one who came out on top. This looks good. This was quite the roller coaster. There were highs and lows, many lows, mostly lows, but we made it. We made it out. This is so epic. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, please like it. And if you hated it, please like it and tell me that you hated it. Please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Zoe underscore underscore Fuentes. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.